What up fam? So I just got back from a Marine Corps ball. So right quick, yes, I know this isn't a Lego centered video, but just hear me out. A good number of this channel's audience are veterans and this video is technically for you. So my friend, Justin Jahan, Juan Solo Creations, whatever he decides to call himself these days, invited me to his unit's Marine Corps Ball. And if you're not familiar with this event through Marines in Your Lives or this channel, Marine Corps Ball is something that we celebrate during Marine Corps birthday. Literally, the Marine Corps has our own dogma. We're a cult amongst ourselves. We take pride in it. And this is one of those things that kind of hype up on our spirit of core. Basically, on this day, no matter where a Marine is at, they're gonna get a cake. They can literally be fighting an enemy in the middle of nowhere, or they could be celebrating in a large, big, ballroom but it's this day that we celebrate higher than any other holiday to include veterans day veterans day although right after marine corps birthday it's like recovery day for us for drinking too much on november 10th so without diving too heavily into it and if you want to i've made videos on this i think last year and you can find context of why marines do what we do literally all over youtube but in this case I went to Marine Corps Ball. Now I haven't been to a ball since 2012 in the Queen Mary with my last unit. This one was just his unit, so it was a different type of Marines. In fact, they were all infantry, mostly. So I was expecting it to be a little different. They failed. <laughs> But that's not the point of the video. So if you've been paying attention to some Cali Bricklick episodes, you can tell that I have a little bit of paranoia going on in my head with where our country's gonna be in the next couple, five, six, seven years. I'm not afraid anymore. And there are a lot of other veterans out there in this community that feel the same way I do. And I can tell you right now, after coming to ball, I think we're okay. So as I'm enjoying the ceremony, they play the Commandant's birthday message, which you can find literally all over YouTube. And I noticed something, these guys are preparing for war. No surprise. I think it's kind of looming over our heads. Hopefully it doesn't happen, but that's not the point. What I notice is the hunger and excitement from the young Marines who are ready for it. Sorry, look, Marines are bred for this. We're like brainwashed to want to fight and destroy. That's just what we do. We are literally the United States shock force. We literally have Marines patrolling the world in these large assault ships. One that you could see at Brickmania waiting for stuff to pop off. That's why they call for us to fight. But as I'm watching this message video and individuals of that acknowledgement, the shouts, the yells, the grunts, the hunger from these young Marines, it's something to notice. I gotta admit, when I was younger at my time, I did the same thing until I went to war, <laughs> which then gave me a sense of pride looking around that this is still a thing within the Marine Corps. And as I scan through the crowd with these young Marines cheering, and when I say young Marines, I'm talking about like, they've only been in for like 48 years. I find the few high enlisted Marines who are in my generation, who still are in, to include all the veterans who are also invited. And I noticed there isn't the same thing. They're calm, controlled, there's still hunger there. It's not something that they're excited for. When I look at a unit like this, back in my time, everyone deploys, everyone fights. It happens so often with Iraq and Afghanistan, every unit, every Marine got deployed consistently that to the fact that you would walk around in a young Lance Corporal, like myself back in the day before I became an NCO, had a bunch of medals on their chest already. And now I'm looking around, all, a lot of these sergeants below, to include a lot of the officers, have nothing on their chest. That's kind of a good thing because that just shows that we're at peacetime and nothing's really happening. As I'm hearing these youngsters cheer and we do this thing where they do the cutting of the cake where the oldest Marine, which at that night was a Marine born in 1973 and the youngest Marine, which always hurts hearing this as you get older, it always hurts to hear who the youngest Marine is. And it's a Marine who was born in December, 2004. That's when I graduated boot camp. What I'm saying here and the overall message of the video is that although we had our questions and gripes with this new generation coming around, as in Gen Z and below, I guess, and question their commitment and attention and patriotism, we got to admire that they are very smart, that they need to know why. But if we can figure that out, they'll be fine. Although those aspects are also in this generation of Marines, these Marines, men and women, they're ready and they're going to do it. So to the veterans out there who are questioning whether our service men and women are ready for what's about to happen within the next decade, I think we'll be okay, whether it happens or not. There are still a few of them that are ready to do it. That's all I wanted to say. Like I was literally proud and I never really appreciated like the ball and the Marine Corps birthday until I really got out. It was funny for my wife to kind of look at all the other women who are bored out of their minds going through the ceremony. And it was also cool to see women in an infantry combat unit. That's something very new to me like when i was in i kind of had qualms with that and as i grew especially with the birth of my daughter a lot of that changed so again to all the veterans out there thank you for your service and to anyone who's going to say it back you are worth it and to the servicemen and women who are currently out there right now training doing the workups 
getting ready for whatever happens within the next decade or 20 years or whatever. Thank you. I just have to make this video. Look, I, I do it every year. <laughs> This is this year. I know I'm kind of late for Veterans Day, Marine Corps birthday, but it is what it is. Thank you again, Justin, for allowing me to come to your unit's ball. I had a great time. It was really sick. A lot of nostalgia hitting me everywhere. I do miss that uniform. I don't fit in mine, but it was cool to at least wear my mini medals to represent. <laughs> and it was also cool to see my generation who are still in as high enlisted or high officer ranks pass on the knowledge that we've learned to these young Marines. I know a lot of you guys are like, what the F? Go back to the Lego. Next video, I promise, Lego. All right, so let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, like, comment, subscribe below, and I'll see you on the next video. I need to go to sleep now. All right, peace.